money management and position sizing. Money management and position sizing skills are regarded as essentials for successful trading. Most traders will tend to get excited about the potential of making lots of money trading stocks, but they often forget that it is even more important not to lose money. In fact, there is one critical factor to consider when trading. Each time you lose money, it is harder to recover it back, and the more you lose, the more uphill that road becomes. Why? Let's take a look at the Ralph Vincent experiment. Now this experiment was conducted with about 40 PhDs and the attempt was to show the importance of money management. What's interesting to note is that none of the 40 PhDs knew anything about money management. They were asked to play a simple computer game whereby out of 100 trials 60% would produce a winning result and 40% a losing result. Now they were given $10,000 in play money and instructed to stake as much or as little as they wanted on each of the 100 trials. They would win or lose exactly what they risked per trial. How do you think that turned out? Now without applying any money management rules, even though they had a 60% win ratio, only 5% came out with more than their original starting balance. 38 of the participants lost money. Now if the participants had a knowledge of money management, they could have capitalized on the 60% win-loss ratio and staked a constant amount on each trial and also not risk too much on a single trial. If they had used that strategy, they would have ended up with more money than they originally started with. The participants who risked too much on a particular trial would have faced the following difficulty in trying to recover. Now let's start with a trading pot of £10,000. Lose 10% to £9,000. Now you need to make £1,000 on that £9,000 or 11% to get back to break even. If you lost 15% to £8,500, you would need to make £1,500 on £8,500 or 17% to get back to break even. If you lost as much as 20% to £8,000, you would need to make £2,000 on £8,000 or 25% to get back to break even. Now if you look below you will see how much you would have to try to get back if you lost as much as 25, 33, and even 50%. Have a look at the figures below. Remember that when spread betting and with trading in general, you will experience ups and downs and there will always be some months when you lose money. Anyone telling you otherwise is simply lying. This means that you must control your risk at all times because it takes a bigger percent or rather a bigger percentage of profits to offset a corresponding loss. That's why I also recommend that you start with a trading pot of at least £10,000 as this will allow you to spread your risk. Also if you lose a third of your capital you should seriously consider stopping and taking a break from trading. For more information visit www.spread-betting.com